My name is Jason. Uh, my work involves cartography, so the, the process of making maps. My interest is in how to make maps a way for everyone to get involved in decision making and how we think and manage the environment and how we work together and hear about different viewpoints. But I think when we think about having a healthy society, good governance or having uh, policies and the government that are responsive to what we feel are really important to, make, to making sure that we're inclusive and included in the debate. Now, a lot of young people feel like they don't have a way to influence change. But at the end of the day, we want to be at the table. I became involved with the Agtan Foundation because I saw that they had a wide network of development projects around the world. I was placed in a place called Khorog, Tajikistan. And this town, a small city, is right on the border between Afghanistan and Tajikistan. So just across the river, you would see Afghanistan and people uh, going to market on that side. So when I first set out uh, with the Agtan Foundation, I thought that my task was to work with a government uh, minister for a ministry for education uh, in reforming the public school. When I first moved to Khorog, one of the most surprising things was how women and girls really interacted in society. Uh, traditionally, we see gender as something where men dominate life in general. Uh, but in Horog, really, uh, it was really complicated in that girls always, like, always significantly did much better than boys in school. It really was a case of overcoming my stereotypes uh, of what I thought Tajikistan was. The work I actually ended up doing when I was uh, based in Tajikistan really was a lot of talking and listening. It was very surprising to me, but when I found uh, that I needed to set out and try to do development projects, that we often overlook that initial step of listening. So I think locally, in terms of Canada, first, we need to understand that there's a lot of diversity uh, within it. And this is something I discovered doing a volunteer program called Ktimovic. And so this was the beginning of an idea of how can we capture all this and how can we share you know, someone from the West Coast and how they think about what being Canadian means and to compare that some, from someone from Ontario. To empower youth, I think that when we as a society look at the diff different technologies that are available, we often see it in terms of how we can play a game. For example, Pokemon Go is something that's really common to all of us. And we look at it in terms of playing a game, but there are ways in that we can actually input our own uh, feedback. So for my project, I'm looking to empower youth by giving them access to an app. So I'm going to create an app that's on a smartphone or that they can access on a computer. And through that, they're going to be able to put in points, lines, polygons, videos, photos. Eventually, we'll even look into doing virtual reality. Uh, for example, I've used this atlas to work with northern communities in, in Canada's north to talk about how sea ice levels are changing. So I think with the new mapping technology I'm hoping to bring out, it really helps youth, both in the developed and the developing world, to understand and visualize problems that don't follow the boundaries. So air pollution and climate change doesn't follow the boundaries of Ontario or Canada. My advice is for you to use the tools that are out there and to believe that you can be part of the solution. So science is not, for, is not something that is just for people in lab coats uh, holding test tubes. You yourself uh, can go to your local park and be part of something.